is it just from a sales standpoint and a profitability standpoint? It's just what it does to your psyche. I mean, when you start thinking that, hey, oh my God, are we actually going to have to quit making pipes for some period of time? But comp smokers are loyal customers. And if recent sales in John Dangler Tobacconist in St. Charles are any indication, business will continue to be brisk. Owner Larry Bench sells about 700 Missouri beer shops a year. It always starts in the end of August, September, when the college kids come in town. Now, I always start them off with a corn cob. Why should they spend 30, 40, 50 bucks and find out they don't like it? So I tell the kids, if they buy a corn cob and they don't like it, just wait for winter and put it in the snowman's mouth. The most popular Missouri beer shop pipe will set you back less than $10, and they're widely available in drugstores. Nostalgia seems to be part of the attraction, too. Newly minted pipe smoker Jeff Bennett purchased his first Missouri beer shop at the factory in Washington, Missouri. The price was appealing, but Bennett says he liked the vibe of the corn cob pipe, too. You know, you see pictures of old guys smoking corn cob pipes on their porch out on the, out on the homestead, so I guess I was kind of attracted to them. Bennett plans to be a continuing corn cob pipe customer, and that's sure to please Phil Morgan. He hopes to ship 800,000 pipes this year, and one million in a few more. That is, if Mother Nature lets him throw the cobs he needs.